Don't you guys love little country stores? Man, there's been a couple of them back in my area that were just fantastic. Oh, just absolutely fantastic little country stores. The old creaking floors and oh man, these things are just positively ancient. You can just you can smell their age when you walk in. And uh, man, they've cl they closed down. They didn't make it through uh, last winter. This past winter, I think the economy finally just done them in. It's really a shame. You guys see that Shamakamuk or something river? Big Hanford Road. Now I hear that. That is my my chain. Oh, the park is closed. Bummer days. Should be a D-bag and drive in there, huh? All the people who are probably cold along, oh, man. Say, there's this crazy man on a motorcycle riding through here. Ooh, look at the pretty lake down there, though. Do they have these, uh, what do you call them, ponds? Probably says, there's no swimming, Lewis County property, no trespassing. So everything is locked up. So irritating. But, uh, you know, as, like, coal mines and whatever, where they use chemicals to do whatever they do, they have these, like, uh, holding ponds, or whatever they call them, or sifting ponds. I forget what the hell they call them. Ah, this... Does that railroad track not look like something you could hit at speed and get some air off of? This is out in the country. Beautiful field right there. I don't remember how far this thing was out. Some bitch, I got up here north here and it's gold. I don't know when the hell I need to stop for gas. I got 56 miles in this tank. I have no idea. Guess when it hits reserve, I'll know. Unless I'm an idiot and it's on reserve. Nah, that should see Ford. Ford should be on, right? Is that right? Yeah. Now I'm going to second guess that son of a gun. I'll stop up here somewhere and take a look. I don't think I'm... Wow, that thing looks like that should be a pond or a... Out there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's kind of nippy out here. Jeez. I wonder what the hell the temperature is. It's a hell of a lot colder up here than it was down my... My area. Thing. I have no earthly idea. There's a little stream going through there. very far. Make sure I don't have a bug on there, which it doesn't look like. It's a good thing I wasn't watching that bug much further. A turn could have... I knew it was there, but <laughs> you could get distracted. Now, when I wa our wife were, and I were out here last time, there was... Uh, we were in the FJ Cruiser. Wow, be 
nice if it was clear because I can see Mount Rainier right there. And man, that thing looks like I could throw a rock at it. But it's uh, real hazy. I can just see the rocky edges going up. It's still, uh, I mean, with that lighting, even if the GoPro would pick it up, you probably wouldn't see it. There's a strap or something on this go or uh, backpack that rattles my helmet at certain certain winds. Anyway, what I was gonna say, we're out here. There was a uh, wow! Look at that power grid thing there. Holy shit! There was tons and tons and tons of uh, coal cars out here. parking. Now I think if you went venturing off where you weren't supposed to out here you'd probably get in trouble in a hurry. Wow there's another power grid thing. Ooh, look at them bad boys. Man I wouldn't even want to know what kind of power is going through that. Wow. Reminds me of being a kid and going out to the paper mills with my dad. Crazy looking buildings and smokestacks and what have you. Look at the, what do you call it thing that, the scoop, the rotating scoop. Can you see that there? It scoops up the coal onto a conveyor belt. Black coal. Man, I hope nobody still has to work in that guard tower there. That thing was beat down. Bunch of coal cars full of coal. Wow, look at that big hole. Back hole looking thing there. Jeez, Louise. Mallard ducks out there. Could you imagine your job being sitting in one of those little guard guard shacks and just sitting there forever waiting for somebody to pull up and check their ID or whatever it is you do? It's kind of wild looking out here. It's kind of open. Good Lord, does that mountain? We are close to that sucker. Right up on it. What do we got here? Uh, whatever it is, it's gated off. season but there'd be a lot of cattails right there Mallard duck didn't make it. I see some motorcycles up here.
gorgeous out here. Never like a road you can't see over. That you're not very familiar with. idea where I'm going. We turned around after the coal mine thing there last time I was out here. Oh, did you see the deer? She kind of bounced out quick. You might have missed that. I love fences like that. I don't think uh, turquoise would be my choice in color, but nevertheless, it's cool. Jeez, was this area, you know, it almost looks like this has been strip mined or something out here, which could very well be the case. What are we at? Almost 12 minutes. I'm just taking you for a little ride in the country. So what possesses you? I live in the country, out in the sticks. So what possesses me to go to some other area into more sticks? So you have to wonder, you know, this valley being all flat like this, this had to be like a huge river or something at, at some point. For it to, I mean, there's like scarcely any trees out there. Man, I'm telling you, that mountain over there was part of some kind of a, some kind of a mining thing. There's probably a pit on the other side of that. That's probably a man-made mountain. It's probably the side of a, of a huge pit. <laughs> if it is, that son of a bitch is big. God, what is that thing? Probably. Oh man, that's. What would that be? Eight hundred thousand feet high. That thing's huge. It's kind of hoping we'll get close to it, which it looks like we're going to do just that. Another motorcycle I just seen up there. about five or six hundred feet high and it's blocked off can't go to it that's either a mountain that's been stripped or like I say there's a huge pit on the other side uh, it's just a dead-end road That's pretty damn wild up there, isn't it? It looks like more like the side of that thing was stripped down. So, I inadvertently found myself with a, uh, a riding group here, so I'm going to sign off and then uh, come back on and ride with them for a little bit because I made this thing almost 15 minutes, so I'm going to check out. We'll see ya.